Welcome to our Income and Social Security in Retirement video. I'm Cindy at First Commonwealth Bank, where it's our mission to improve the financial lives of our neighbors and their businesses. Today, we're going to discuss income in retirement. The average 65-year-old American can expect to live another 19 and a half years. Average life expectancy is likely to continue to increase. That means that retirement may last 25 years or more. Some people may spend as many years in retirement as they do in their career. In this video, we'll discuss where you will get the income you'll need to live during your golden years. As we begin today, we would like you to know that investment products and services are offered through Infinex Investments, member of FINRA and SIPC. First Commonwealth Bank and Infinex are not affiliated. Investments and investment types that might be referenced in this discussion are not insured by the FDIC. They are not backed or guaranteed by and are not a deposit of any bank or federal agency. Investments involve risks and may lose value. Traditionally, retirement income has been described as a three-legged stool comprised of Social Security retirement benefits, traditional employer pension income, and income from individual savings and investments. The first two legs of the stool, Social Security retirement benefits and employer pensions, produce a steady or relatively fixed stream of annual income that you can depend on during retirement. As we'll see, though, most people aren't going to be able to rely on Social Security to provide for all of their retirement income needs. And you may not have an employer pension. That means the third leg, individual savings and investments, is likely going to play a major role in funding your retirement. Many people wonder how much they'll get in Social Security. That depends upon how much you've earned and how long you've worked under the Social Security system. Your retirement benefit will be based on your average lifetime earnings of your highest 35 years of earning. The amount you receive will also be affected by whether you start collecting benefits early, you'll get less. Whether you collect benefits late, you'll get more. Whether you work after you retire, whether other family members receive benefits based on your earnings record, whether you collect certain other government benefits, and finally, whether the cost of living rises. Deciding when to start claiming Social Security can be a big question. Here's a hypothetical example that illustrates why it's important for spouses, especially, to carefully choose when to begin receiving Social Security retirement benefits. In this example, both spouses are able to claim benefits based on their own records. Spousal benefits are not considered. As this table shows, if both spouses choose to claim benefits at age 62, their joint monthly income will be $2,784. But if both spouses wait until age 70, their joint monthly income will increase to $5,241 a difference of $2,457 per month. That's almost $30,000 more per year. In addition, by waiting longer to claim retirement benefits, Spouse 1 may also substantially increase Spouse 2's monthly survivor benefit, since Social Security generally pays the surviving spouse the larger of his or her own retirement benefit or the benefit his or her spouse had been receiving. Of course, this illustration does not take into account the other factors that this hypothetical couple might need to consider, and your own situation and overall income plan will be unique. Typically, those who decide to claim benefits earlier need Social Security income right away. They want to invest the monthly benefit. They want to delay having to take funds from other retirement vehicles or are married and one of the spouses wants to delay claiming benefits. Those who decide to claim benefits later usually want a higher monthly retirement benefit, want to maximize survivor income, plan to work longer, 
or have concerns about a full life expectancy. With the news full of reports about Social Security's uncertain future, you might wonder whether you will ever benefit from the Social Security taxes you pay. Although this popular social insurance program faces financial challenges, and some reform is certainly likely, Social Security is likely to be there for you in the future. The fiscal challenges that Social Security faces are due in part to shifts in demographics. Social Security is a pay-as-you-go system. Taxes collected from workers and employers are deposited into the Social Security Trust Funds and used to pay today's Social Security recipients. Over the coming years, there will be fewer workers paying Social Security taxes, and trust fund reserves will need to be used to make up the shortfall in payroll tax revenue. Once reserves are depleted, payroll tax revenue alone should still be sufficient to pay about 76% of scheduled benefits, even if no changes are made. However, many proposals to reform Social Security are on the table. With most Americans dependent on Social Security, it's likely that action will be taken. Keep in mind, too, that Social Security was never meant to be the only source of income for people in retirement. You'll want to save for retirement on your own and start as soon as possible, even if retirement is many years away. Let's talk now about generating income from your individual saving and investments, the third leg of our retirement income stool. You spend your whole life saving and investing in your retirement plan and accumulating your nest egg. When you reach retirement, you'll begin taking distributions from your retirement savings. An important consideration is how your retirement savings are invested in both the accumulation and the distribution phases of your retirement. Your investment strategy may look different as you approach and move into retirement. For example, the conventional thinking is that you invest in more growth types of investments like stocks and stock mutual funds when you are younger. This provides you the opportunity to have your money grow faster and also gives you the time to ride out the times when the market is down. As you move into the later stages of your career, many people begin to shift funds away from growth investments and into safer, income-oriented investments like bonds, bond mutual funds, and annuities. Of course, everyone's situation is unique and a good financial advisor can help you develop a strategy that fits your situation. You might be wondering how much income you can get from your retirement savings. Let's say that you have saved about $300,000 for your retirement and you want to plan for a 25-year retirement period. Assuming you earn 6% on your retirement savings balances during that time, you could take out approximately $23,000 each year. At the end of the 25 years, your savings will be used up, leaving no money for beneficiaries and a shortfall if you live longer than 25 years in retirement. Remember, though, that this is a simple estimate only and there are no guarantees. Your investments could make more than 6% or they could earn less, depending on how your money is invested. Some of you might not want to completely spend down your retirement. You might want to leave some money for your beneficiaries. If that is the case, you would have to adjust your budget to fit whatever income you are comfortable drawing from your retirement savings so your money lasts longer. A good rule of thumb suggests you can pull 4% per year from your savings and have your nest egg last for your lifetime and still leave money for your beneficiaries. In the previous example, a $300,000 retirement savings balance would produce $12,000 per year at a 4% withdrawal rate. This example does not account for taxes. Your income in retirement should align with your changing lifestyle. In the early years of retirement, you will likely spend more as you do more, like travel, so your income will need to be higher during those years. In your later years, spending might decrease, so you might not need to draw as much from your savings. A well-built retirement plan should adjust to your circumstances 
to provide all that you need to enjoy a comfortable and confident retirement, however you want to spend it. Our next video will delve more into different savings vehicles and investment options for retirement, so be sure to check it out. Thank you so much for joining us today. To give us feedback on this video and be entered to win a great prize, please take a quick survey by scanning the QR code or visiting the site listed on the screen.